Hey everyone, HHO for all, and I want to show you guys my latest project. It is the Flip Cup Dry Cell. And uh, using, instead of the 2.5 ounce stainless steel cups, I'm using 1.5 ounce that I found on eBay. Um, they were about the same price, and for what I'm doing, I don't know how, but uh, they seem to have a closer gap on them. And when you stack them together, um, the output seems to be a little better and I'm definitely seeing that on this cell um, I did the positive and negative terminals on the outside um, just like I did with the other flip cup design um, it's a seven cup setup um, it's positive on the bottom and then five neutrals and then a negative on the top and with the neutrals I also did the stacked neutrals and sealed those up um, because I've been having a lot of luck with that and what the reason that I do the stack neutrals is to actually give more of a gap in between the positive and the negative so that uh, you lower the amperage a little bit and you also cut down on the heat um, because heat was a major issue before I started doing uh, the stack neutral cups and doing it in that configuration seems to be working pretty good for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but uh, I've done it on a couple designs, and so far I'm pretty impressed with it. And um, so anyway, this is my new fuel cell. Um, just playing around with it a little bit. Um, not very big. I mean, <laughs> this is my hand. <laughs> not very big at all. I, it's maybe about three inches tall at most. And... Uh, got a little valve here underneath it which is supposed to be um, my water refill but uh, I don't have a check valve yet I'm waiting for it it's in the mail and because of the pressure for some reason the bubbles are coming out through here um, instead of the top hose like I wanted it to that's fine no problem because as soon as I get that check valve it'll work the way I want it to and that'll be fine and also, I finally got it. Got my amp meter. Kind of cheesy, only goes up to 15 amps, but for what I'm doing, it's perfect. Because um, I'm not trying to get a fuel cell that does over 15 amps. I'm trying to do a lot less than that. So, let me show you what this thing does. And um, I ran it for about, about half an hour before I did this video. And it never got above 6 amps. I'm completely impressed with this. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever build another flip cup dry cell, but because um, it was really a pain and I had a lot of leaks and I had to tear it apart and redesign it and put it back together over and over and over again. So if, if you decide that you want to do this flip cup dry cell, just take my warning. <laughs> it is a pain. It is a massive pain. But when you get it together, you get some massive output. It's well worth it. And check this out. This is the best part of all. You're talking five and a half, six amps at most. And then on top of that, the leads, they don't get hot. They're still cool to the touch. The cell never gets that hot. It gets a little warm, but it's not hot. See, I'm, I'm touching it here, and it's not... It's not scalding like my old designs used to be. And, um, you know, all in all, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. And it's got some amazing output on it. So, uh, it's, it's looking good. So that's it for me. HHO for all. I'm out of here.